it's show season, baby. So you know what we're doing. We're going to a show. Now, I washed the truck last night. I got done about 1 in the morning. That's currently 7. I haven't really seen it since I did that. And since I did it at 1 in the morning, there's probably some spots that I inevitably missed. But it does still look pretty dang good. So, order of events for today. We have to go get gas because I have to get to the car show. Then we got to meet up with Josh, Boosted Atlas. Uh, we're going to cruise to the car show. Then have to come back. Then I have to go to San Antonio to get a and a for the Mustang right there. The Mustang's still here. I drove it last night. It's running great. Maybe we'll drive that later. Actually, there's, there's no maybe. We're going to drive it later. Now, for once, we're not running late right now. We need to keep that up, though. We need to load the truck up. Here's an interesting thing. We're missing the license plate. The Texas no license plate bill is going to pass, maybe. So does that mean I just don't have to get one? I don't, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Now, I do really love the cutout I have on there. It's great. I've kind of been thinking of changing things up a little bit just because I want to go for a cleaner sound. So I'm thinking maybe full exhaust down there, ditch the muffler, just put a resonator on there to try to clean up some sound a little bit. I don't know how that would sound. If you know how it sounds, please let me know. I'm kind of thinking about it though. Just want to clean it up. Now is no time to slouch, boys. We've never missed it. We're not going to start now. Let's go get some gas and then we're going to meet up with Josh. So we got a couple things. Number one, gas is 30 cents a gallon cheaper here than it is at school. I don't know how that works. Number two, uh, we have not fixed the sending unit yet. It's still doing its problem. I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Over the summer, that's probably going to be like the first thing that gets fixed though. So don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, just like that we made it. And guys, that front end is absolutely stunning. So we made it out. We're at the Coppers Cove Crossroads High School. It's their first car show. It's a benefit car show. We are all posted up. And as you can see, uh, his truck gets a little more tension than mine. So he's got the whole show set up, which maybe maybe we need to do. But at the same time, the truck just it can't clean up nice enough because it's uh, we wheel it too hard. On a plus, though, we finally got the RGB light bar working again. Uh, since I got a new phone, I haven't been able to hook it up. But we are back in business, baby. We are registration number 27 and 19. We are in the Ford and 4x4 class. There's three uh, prizes given. I think we might have a shot at Billy's winning something. Maybe it'd be the first time. As long as we get one, it'd be cool. The Mustang, hopefully, eventually, that'll win something. So Josh over here is flexing on us with the whole mirror setup. So you can see like the tires and the rock lights and all that. And even a spot for the awards. Yeah, we need to step up our game, boys. So it's super windy. I'm sorry. I hope you guys can hear me. Hopefully you can. There's some really cool I, low rider. Low rider. This is this is something else we've never really seen in this shows around here. And I gotta say, it's definitely definitely cool. It's definitely one of my favorite cars here. It's a classic Camaro built for the track. This thing is so sweet. Look at that supercharger. And you know the wrap. I'm kind of a sucker for wraps, camo wraps. This one's no exception. It is super, super nice. I really want to build the Mustang where I can take it on track. I think that's the goal to build. Uh, we got some Mustang news later. This entire car is just so, so nicely done. Uh, if only, if we could get the Mustang to look that nice, uh, we will succeed. However, <laughs> College budget. Yeah. Now, I've never seen one of these of ever. This is a Mazda, I guess. Yeah, I guess I can assume. It's an RS3. That is, I mean, that's really cool. A lot of the cars here are super nice. The attention to detail is like second to none. This Mustang is no exception. The engine bay on this thing is absolutely insane. Just attention to detail on all the painted parts is really, really sweet. Now, I really hope there is a Jeep category because this is in the 4x4. We're really in trouble. Uh, it's really, it's, it's just a, a dinosaur of a vehicle, really, I guess, I guess you could say. We're showing out for the classic Mustangs. We have the 65 GT350 right next to the one and only Eleanor. Now, it's really a hard choice for me picking which one I would take because the 350 is so awesome, but so is the 500. It's that time. The judges are coming around. They're going to take a look at all the trucks, all the little details, hopefully not too closely, and they, they can't see things uh, on the wrap like, like, like that. We'll see, though. There's not many people in this class, so I think maybe, maybe we have a chance at winning. So unfortunately, we didn't have time to stay and see if we actually won something. I don't think we even got judged and won because we had to leave early, which is okay. What can you do? So we're headed now to Universal City because I have a very exciting Mustang part to pick up. 
it's starting to come together guys we're, we're starting to get there I just got news from Josh and we did take home the second place for the 4x4 group I think we were the only two in the 4x4 group he took home first but hey that trophy's a trophy so I'm gonna take it if you're from Texas you know what's up if you're not from Texas uh, Bucky sucks don't don't move here so we got ourselves some cinnamon thing pecans and sweet tea and I've got some goodies in the back seat. That's gonna wait till we get home though, which is gonna be like probably right now. We scored big time, guys. We got the Exidy, I believe it's the Mach 400 clutch, brand new. Also, we got a billet steel flywheel. Uh, we just picked these up for $150. So those are gonna be paired with the 3650 transmission down there and the motor. We really have to get to work on that. Also, big news on the Mustang. Two weeks, we are pulling the motor out. Two weeks the build officially starts. That motor's gotta come out so we can sell it, buy the rest of the parts for that motor, and then I'm gonna try to work with some companies to try to make this build happen. Obviously the wide body kit, never seen one like it before. So I need to, I really wanna make that happen. If we can make it happen over the summer, great. Uh, if not, mechanically, she will be sound over the summer. Now you gotta admit, she does look really good, but for what we got planned for this build, this is gonna be an absolute beast of a new edge. Little update on the truck too. Although it's fixed, um, wheel bearings, IWEs need to be replaced because the front end, it's starting to rattle a little bit. I think the wheel barrels finally are kicking the bucket, which is, uh, it's not a very convenient time. When things break, then that's never convenient. That's not gonna be too big a deal. It's really not a hard fix, it just takes some time. I'm so excited about this Mustang, guys. I'm so motivated. I know we can get this done over the summer. If you want to help, please hit that subscribe button. Go over to the website. Get yourself you know, one of these hats. We still have some left. They're selling out, though, so make sure to go quick. Uh, license plate cover, a vehicle print, anything, and we can make it happen, and we can get this Mustang done just that much sooner. So what else do you think we should add to the Mustang build? So as of now, we have, obviously, we're repainting it. It's going to be wide-bodied. 335 tires, we got wheels. These are the wheels I'm thinking of. I'll put them up there somewhere. A big carbon wing, probably a 71 inch wing to be the width of the wide body kit. Maybe a wrap. Of course, the body kit, everything's gonna be different. You know, the motor build, you know, we, we've already gone over that. But what else do you think it needs? Is there anything else we're missing that we should add? Obviously, the headlights, tail lights, that's already gonna be included in there. What else though? What should we do to make it pop? In the comments below, let me know what you're thinking. That's pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next video, we're probably going to be picking up the trophy because we want a trophy today. The first trophy I've ever won, which is pretty, pretty dang awesome. But until next time, take it easy. Keep on crushing it, and I'll catch you all very soon.